Hey, this is Ciderhelm, and welcome to the Vainglory Hero Spotlight. Today we'll be looking at Miho, a swift swordswoman that can cut through any obstacle. Miho functions as a powerful duelist as well as an assassin in teamfights. Careful usage of her perk will leave her enemies vulnerable, allowing her to quickly slice through them and remove them from the battle. Whenever she lands an ability on an enemy, she will apply stacks of her keen eye perk. If an enemy has three stacks, the next basic attack or raison strike will cause a burst of true damage, generate a barrier, and stun the target. Afterwards, enemies enter the unguarded state. Miho's damage is amplified against unguarded targets, but she cannot apply any additional stacks of Kenai until it runs out. Instead of energy, Miho uses Focus to activate her abilities. Focus regenerates naturally and can be regained quickly by landing basic attacks. Miho's Raison causes her to teleport forward, dealing damage to all enemies that she's passed through and around the area where she reappears. This applies basic attack effects such as Tension Bow as well as Critical Strikes. Miho is invulnerable during the dash, so use it to evade attacks or to get out of tricky situations like being trapped in Arden's Gauntlet. On Overdrive, the ability refreshes any time an enemy becomes unguarded. I recommend maxing this ability first if going weapon. When Miho activates Shingetsu, she performs a long-range slash that deals damage in a line. For a short period of time afterwards, she can continue to reactivate this ability until she runs out of focus. Tap on the screen repeatedly or press the ability icon in order to perform the additional slashes. Otherwise, to cancel the ability, tap the red Shingetsu icon that appears in the ability bar. Take the overdrive on this ability first if going for a crystal build since this will be your main source of damage. Miho's ultimate ability, Tsukiyomi, fires a crescent beam of energy that travels forward in a line and deals damage to everything it passes through. If it hits an enemy hero, it will also apply three stacks of Kenai. Additionally, this ability will also negate any projectile that it comes across. Cast it at the right time to destroy other important ultimates such as Celeste's Solar Storm or Ringo's Hellfire Brew. Miho catches a glimpse of enemy heroes on a scout cam and heads towards the jungle to intercept them. When she gets close, she fires Tsukiyomi to interrupt their recall and marks all three targets with keen eye. Then she uses Raison to jump to Vox, dealing massive damage and triggering her perk to make him unguarded. This resets her Raison, which she uses to dodge Lorelei's stun and triggers her perk again. She dashes a third time, now dodging Catherine's stun, which gives her the freedom to finish off Lorelei. She jumped into a group of three enemies and with her skillful dodges managed to come out on top. In this fight, Miho engages onto Finn and Warhawk, but can't quite reach the furry Rocketeer. Now take note that at this point, her Raison is on cooldown, leaving her without the means to jump onto the carry. To counteract this, she uses Tsukiyomi on both of her opponents, marking them with three stacks of Kenai. Then she strikes Finn with a basic attack, putting him into an unguarded state and resetting her Raison cooldown. She teleports forward and hits Warhawk, triggering her perk for a second time. At this point, Warhawk's fate is sealed. Finn tries to quibble Miho, but she uses Raison again to dodge it and land the finishing blow onto the rocket Bleakos. Thanks to her smart usage of the Raison Overdrive, she was able to close the gap and pick up a couple easy kills. Thanks for watching the Miho Hero Spotlight. She'll be coming to update 4.5 with the Twilight Miho skin, so be sure to give her a try.